So check it out guys. I wasn't really gonna record this job just because this is something I just wanna get it done real quick. Wasn't trying to make a full video out of it, but so it's gonna be blue. So I'm like, I gotta do a blue one on the video. You already know what it is. Guys, I didn't do much yet. I'm taking apart the bumpers and stuff, the headlights. I sand it all down with 220 grid sandpaper to make it more easier for me. And then I hit it with 320 grid. Just get a sander and just go at it. Taking off the back bumpers, the back light, obviously. I find it on these little cars. They're easier to take apart. That's what I'm doing right now. So we're just taking this car apart real quick. I still gotta sand the bumpers, the wing, the back thing. So I might just put on the GoPro and start sanding down that for you guys. And then we're gonna hit it with the primer slash sealer from rust -Oleum. And then we're gonna hit it with the Royal Blue from rust -Oleum. So with all that said, you already know what it is, 360 Crew. Let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. All right guys, check it out. It is the next day. So I pulled the car out of the garage because I got another trailer, I got a project. Um, right now I'm setting up the inflatable paint booth. I'm a, a master's car inside a paint booth. All I'm doing today is just the top of the rough black. He wants a black top with the blue car. So that's pretty much what we're doing today. So I have to reverse this car out, air out the paint booth, and then put it in paint through booth. Um, and yeah, with all that say, you already know what it is, man. I'm going to get everything set up, then I'm going to get back on the camera. So let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's get it. Yo, guys, check it out. Sorry I couldn't get you guys a record right now. I don't know where the fuck my tripod's at, so I couldn't set my phone down nowhere, but you get the hint of it, man. Just inflate the phone booth, the phone booth. I was about to say phone booth, paint booth. Got the car in here. Um, Yeah, it's a little, it has a little breeze today, so I'm gonna strap it down with some ratchet straps on each corner, just in case. And then, yeah, we're just gonna mask down the roof and start painting it black with the rust paint job. So let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. Get out, I'm not sure how good you guys can hear me right now, but I did find my tripod. Uh, the blower is on, so it's kind of probably a little bit loud, but I'm about to mask this car just all over. All I'm doing is sealing today with the rust with the rust uh gloss black. And then uh, tomorrow, we're gonna let this drive at night, and tomorrow we're gonna do the whole car. So with all that said, you already know what it is, 3-6 secure, let's sit you on the tripod and let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. Right, guys check it out sorry in the process my fucking phone died but i just sprayed the car with two coats um i'm getting some bugs you know it's not fully like vent vandalized but check it out guys because i have a bigger compressor and i can use the consistent airflow i'm not using like a little one the paint jobs spread out a lot more they come out a lot more better a lot more shiny um and the booth actually keeps it, you know, semi, you know, not 100%, but semi clean. Way better than the garage. I'm really excited. Yo, I'm really excited how this is coming out. Like, I found a different way to mix the paint. And then it's just coming out glass, guys. Like, the paint, this, this Rust-Oleum paint usually comes out a lot orange peel. It usually comes out a lot thick. Um, but I think all I've been needing was constant, consistent right amount of psi because with the little air compressor my psi goes up and down because actually it goes up and it starts going down to like 25 and it'll go down to like 17 to 15 with the smaller compressor but the bigger compressor is just consistent i'm having it at 24 psi right now and it's just it breaks up all the particles in the paint which you can see and it just gives you that that mirror reflection um yo i like it I got one more coat. I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod for that last coat. And yeah, let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. guys check it out i had to bring it outside because the lights in my garage uh they keep turning on and off and how to work on the car plus i have a trailer in there right now so check it out all i'm doing right now just sanding up the touch up spots i need to sand down i masked the whole car with the plastic and tape um 
I just got done sanding down the last of it. So I'm a little bit out of breath. So if I'm breathing hard, that's why. But the car is almost done, guys. I just gotta go over it, touch up the little spot, mess up the little things I have to mess up. Then I'm gonna hose it down. Then we're gonna hit it with the primer. And then tomorrow, we're gonna put in a, a spray booth and hit it with the blue paint. I'm excited how this one's gonna come out. So with all I say, you already know what it is. 360 crew, let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. All right, guys, check it out. Bad news, good news, however you wanna take it. But we had to skip a lot of skips on this car, guys. Check it out. I was painting this car and I have video of it, but it just wasn't good video because I stopped halfway through. I was painting this car, the paint started wrinkle on me. If you guys don't know what that is, paint wrinkle when you're painting, you could Google it, YouTube it. It starts to get wrinkly and starts to look like a cracking formation on the paint. So it started wrinkling some parts of the car. I stopped it because I knew that like, oh shit, the, the paint, I don't know why the paint's not doing good with this paint. This is a single stage that was on there before. Um, so sometimes the oil based paint doesn't stick right to the uh, acrylic or a fucking urethane cheap paint that this had already had it on the car. Um, you know, cheap can't put cheap paint on top of cheap paint because then they don't they don't act good together. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But so I stopped what I'm doing. I stand down the whole car again. I was already frustrated, and then I hit it with the gray primer. And I'm gonna hit everything else with the gray primer before I paint it. And then I'm gonna hit it with the blue paint. And hopefully. It doesn't wrinkle. I mean, I don't think it does because I ran into this problem before and all I did was sand it down. I went and go get a gray primer, a body filler primer or whatever you call it. And then I sprayed it on there. This is not a primer. Stop saying that. A fucking sealer. This is a sealer. And then, yeah. So that's what I'm doing, guys. And then... The fuck? Not sure if you guys caught that, but I swear to God, I thought somebody knocked on my door. Hey, I, I heard like a... I don't know, guys. I live next to a graveyard, so shit always happens around working late in my garage. It's not really that late. It's like 9 o'clock. No, wait, what time is it? It is... Hold up, hold up. It's 8.13, so it's not really even that late. Um, But I always hear shit. It doesn't mind me, honestly. I'm not... I'm not afraid of the supernatural. As long as I can't see it or it doesn't touch me, I'm straight, if you know what I mean. But back to the paint job, guys. I painted one of these cars white. I want to paint it blue. I want to get documented for you guys because not only for you guys, but for myself too, because I did paint one of these white and I did like how it came out. This one's going to be blue with the black top and a white banner. So I want to document it because I am trying to do more paint jobs and I want to build some type of career painting cars. So, with all that said, man, I want to see where I started off with and, you know, what I had to work with until, like, five years from now, I'm doing a fucking, you know, I get more experience under my belt and I have, I do, I'm doing canning paints with metallics and all that shit. So, here we go. I'm going to finish this paint job. I'm going to document it, what I have left. You guys know I already sanded down the car. I masked the car. I painted the roof, but the roof was actually being stupid with me. It started wrinkle too. And then when I was like, fuck it, I'll cover the roof and I'll do it later. And I started painting the car, the paint car started wrinkle. So I sanded it down and you already know that process. But right now what I'm gonna do is actually primer the body panels, the fenders, the bumper, the wing, and then that's what I'm gonna do right now. So let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. Yo guys, check it out. You guys can't see the outside, but I installed a fucking swamp cooler in my garage. It keeps, it's pretty big too, so it keeps this whole garage fucking cool for the summertime. So I'm excited about that. And guys, I forgot, I'm not painting this in a paint booth because one of the blowers went out in a paint booth. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you guys this or not, but I had the paint booth inflated and then the blower went out and then it got flat and then... I only have one blower, so if I only blow up the paint booth and the and the exhaust system is not working on it, that's no use doing it. I have a little exhaust system in my garage. It's the same process. They're sending me a new blower, but the blower blew out, so I'm painting this car in the back in the garage, just like all the time, which it doesn't matter. I mean, the garage is the garage, same shit, you know. Obviously, we're going to have a little bit more dust nips, but it is what it is, you know. I got to wait for the second booth uh, blower to come in, so yeah, we're painting this. With no paint booth, so let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. Alright guys, 
check it out. It's the next morning now, and we're back at it with this car. We're about to paint blue. So I hit it with gray sealer. All <coughs> so I hit it with gray sealer. I got all the parts matched down. So I'm about to hit it with the Rustoleum blue right now. It is the next morning. As you see, last time we was in a dark. Now we're in a light. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's get it. But check it out, guys. Yeah, we're about to hit this all down with blue. I'm about to put my GoPro on. So with all that said, you already know what it is, 36 crew. Let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. All right, guys, check it out. The first coat's already dry. Yep. It is dry to the touch. Not gonna make that mistake with you guys no more. Um, let's go. So guys, when I did this one, it was just a, a half coat. So it was just me breezing to it. So the second coat, I'm gonna come in a lot more wetter. So what I'm about to do right now is hose it down with air and then uh, hit it with the second coat. So yeah, as you can see, I already got the GoPro on. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's get it. <coughs> Yo, guys, I never show you guys. I got this canopy that the wind fucked up, but check it out. I never show you guys my new setup. I had to set it up all, all by myself. Um, I got a 240 outlet. It runs all the way to my uh, breaker box. It's the 175 PSI two-stage performance compressor. Um, it doesn't go to 175 PSI. I actually set it to 150 PSI. You could take this off and there's a there's a latch where you could turn. And I want it to be at 150 just because, I don't know, I'm a little bit hesitant. Never had anything this big. Um, it's a 60 gallon. Yeah, I never had anything this big. So like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm still used to all this compressor shit, so I just don't want to go to the max. 175 is 80% of the max capacity this thing could hold. So I don't want, I don't need 170 PSI. 150 does good, um, but check it out. This is my new setup, guys. I'm just wrapping down about random shit. I leave my mask right here. I usually leave it in a bag because I forget to turn off my compressor. So I always leave my mask right here. So I know I, I need my mask. I need to turn on and turn off my compressor. It's full with air right now, but check it out. This is my setup. I had a little three foot hose. <clears throat> I got a valve right here. I run it through this piping. You can get at Home Depot. Um, it's kind of expensive. You guys can use copper. I just went with this brand, but I ran it through up and down. Down there, there's another valve to release the moisture. There's a valve right here to release the moisture. I ran it through. So just in case if there's any moisture, these pipes will catch it. And then I have it run through three little filters. And then I have it running through a uh, hundred foot, um, airline that runs to my inside of my compressor so that's what i have in <coughs> i have it run into my black widows from harbor freight 
and I got a little red compressor and I got another air drive uh, or an oil release uh, dryer on this and then I have a valve gauge on this one and it runs into my gun and it does the job I just got done with the third coat guys I didn't record the third coat because the same thing as the second coat but I put this one on really wet so hopefully I don't have no runs but if I do I gotta fix it you already know what it is man but I'm gonna let this dry up then I'm gonna show you guys uh, so let's get to it let's do it let's get it all right guys check it out four coats of the Rustolian blue paint everything's all covered good everything's all done we're finally done with this paint job um i still gotta do the rough and i still gotta do a uh, part on the back lip black but other than that the blue just here it just needs to dry up some and then it's good to go um yeah like i said man this is just a budget paint job that you guys could do at your you guys could do at home yourself just go to home depot grab some paint some paint thinner Get a little gun set up and yeah, get to it. All right, guys, check it out. It's finally done. This car is finally done. I ran into a lot of problems with it, man, and I finally got it done. I'm like, super excited how it came out. You know, like this, like I always said, man, it is the Ristolian paint job. It's not the best job, but it does the job. You already know what it is. The Royal Blue Ristolian paint with the black Ristolian top on it. Uh, now all they're left to do is put it all together, show you guys the end result in three, two, one, let's get it. <laughs> about it for this video you already know what it is i know this video was jumping around a lot here and there but finally got it done i put a uh, i got a speed hunter banner that i put on so that it'll you know give the car a little more sporty look you already know what it is shout out speed hunters but check it out all done with the car already wrapped already put together show you guys the montage with all that said man till next time let's get to it let's do it let's get it